from its world-famous boardwalk and beautiful beach to the shopper's paradise of Abbott Kinney Boulevard. If you're looking for cool things to do in California, Venice offers a unique and vibrant mix of activities and attractions. Originally called, Venice of America, Venice was founded in 1905 by developer Abbott Kinney as a beachfront resort town. Kinney's initial vision of creating a cultural mecca was set aside to accommodate the public. And Venice became the Coney Island of the Pacific, complete with an amusement pier and a miniature steam railroad. Kinney also created a system of canals and imported gondolas and gondoliers from Venice, Italy. Hey guys welcome to my channel. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Today, Venice is one of the most popular destinations in Los Angeles for visitors and locals alike. From its days as home to beat generation poets and artists, Venice continues to be an important Los Angeles cultural center. Whether you're looking for some fun in the sun, a unique shopping experience, or a sophisticated evening of art and music, find out more about one of LA's top neighborhoods. Number 1. Hotel Irwin. Located on Pacific Avenue just 200 feet from the sand, the Hotel Irwin features a brightly colored, eclectic design that captures the creative spirit of Venice. The on-site Barlow Kitchen Plus Cocktails is open for breakfast and dinner, offering barn-to-belly fare made with seasonal farmer's market ingredients. The hotel's rooftop high lounge is the perfect spot to wind down after a day of exploring the area or to kick off a night of revelry. The hotel offers room specials like the famous ink and stay package, which includes a $100 voucher for a tattoo from the Venice Beach Hotel's acclaimed in-house tattoo and graffiti artist and a bottle of tequila, to numb the pain. Number 2. The Boardwalk. Looking for things to do in Venice? The world-famous Venice Oceanfront Walk, aka, The Boardwalk, beckons from the doorstep of the Hotel Irwin. The Boardwalk is one of the best places in LA for people watching, everyone from colorful locals to visitors from around the globe. There's something for everyone on the concrete boardwalk. On one side there are specialty shops, restaurants and uniquely designed residences, and on the other a myriad of street performers, artists, fortune tellers and much more. Number 3. Venice Beach, California. With 75 miles of county coastline and numerous world-famous surf spots, Los Angeles is the quintessential city of the endless summer. Venice Beach is one of many great LA beaches, and the only one where the lively Venice Beach boardwalk upstages the Pacific Ocean. The acclaimed Venice Breakwater is a favorite local surf spot, built by Abbott Kinney in 1905 to protect his amusement pier. The artificial barrier is located north of the Venice Pier and Lifeguard Headquarters, and south of the Santa Monica Pier. The breakwater is the only place on the beach where waves break on both sides, while the sand is reportedly the finest for creating sand sculptures. Go Surf LA offers beginner and intermediate surfing lessons all year long at Venice Beach, as well as Zuma, Malibu, Santa Monica and Manhattan Beach. Lessons are offered 7 days a week, and run 90 minutes. Wetsuits and soft top surfboards are included with each $80 surfing lesson. Number 4. Venice certainly marches to the beat of its own drum. On Saturdays and Sundays, that beat is heard loud and clear at the Venice Beach Drum Circle. An improvisational jam session that takes place on the sand where Brooks Avenue meets Ocean Front Walk. Hundreds of people from around the world gather to play their drums, shakers, congas and more, while others dance and chant. The drum circle begins around noon and lasts until sunset. The event is free and open to all ages. Please note that smoking of any kind, alcohol consumption and glass bottles are not permitted. Number 5. Venice Beach Recreation Center. Besides surfing, other iconic Southern California activities can be found at the nearby Venice Beach Recreation Center which features a number of facilities located between Ocean Front Walk and the bike path, Horizon Avenue, to the north, and N. Venice Boulevard to the south. The center includes several children's play areas with a gymnastics apparatus, as well as handball courts, tennis courts and volleyball courts, all unlighted. The outdoor basketball courts are renowned for games that feature some of the best streetballers in the country, as depicted in the 1992 film White Men Can't Jump. Numerous NBA players developed their games or were recruited from these courts, yet another example of why Los Angeles is hoops heaven. The $2 million Venice Beach Skate Park opened in 2009, and is one of LA's many excellent skate parks. Located on the sand near Windward and Ocean Front Walk, 
The 16,000-square-foot facility features a variety of street skateboarding elements. A concrete bowl evokes the empty Venice and Santa Monica swimming pools where the legendary Z-Boys would skate and revolutionize skateboarding in the 1970s. The Venice Beach Skate Park is free and open from 9 a.m. to sunset. Safety gear is required. Number 6. You can't miss the outdoor weightlifting area at Muscle Beach Venice, just look for the giant concrete barbell atop the roof. Hard bodies and spectators alike congregate at the workout mecca, located at the south end of the Venice Beach Recreation Center. Muscle Beach, also refers to the numerous gyms and fitness studios in the area. Foremost among these is the original Gold's Gym, where Arnold Schwarzenegger and other legendary bodybuilders pumped iron in the 1970s. Today, Gold's Gym is considered a sports landmark and was once ranked number 39 on ESPN's list of America's 100 most important sports venues. Number 7. Beyond Baroque. Founded by George Drury Smith in 1968, Beyond Baroque Literary Arts Center is one of the most successful and influential grassroots incubators of literary art in the country. Housed in the original Venice City Hall building in Venice. Beyond Baroque is a non-profit public space dedicated to cultivating new writing and expanding the public's knowledge of poetry, fiction, literature, and art through cultural events and community interaction. Discover this LA literary landmark, which celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2018 and boasts alumni such as Tom Waits, Exine Chervenka and Wanda Coleman. Number 8. Abbott Kinney Boulevard. Located a few blocks from Venice Beach, Abbott Kinney Boulevard is a vibrant collection of boutiques, salons, galleries, restaurants, and bars that attracts visitors from all over LA and beyond. In its first ever Style Bible issue, GQ magazine named Abbott Kinney the coolest block in America. That's quite a step up from its earlier condition as a rundown strip of old cottages and empty industrial buildings, when it was known as West Washington Boulevard. In the late 1980s, community activists and property owners pushed for the street to be renamed after Venice's founder, an action that many consider the beginning of its renaissance. What is your favorite thing to do in Venice Beach? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions then feel free to mention them in the comment section and we will surely respond to your request. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.